Welcome, welcome to another episode of the Good or Bad series. So for today's video, I'm going to do Star Wars The Bad Batch. So for those who don't know, Star Wars The Bad Batch is a sequel slash spinoff series of the Star Wars The Clone Wars series. <laughs> No, not that one, the other one. Yeah, that one. And this series follows Clone Force 99, aka the Bad Batch, a group of elite clone troopers with genetic mutations who were first introduced in Season 7 of the Clone Wars series. So basically the show takes place in the aftermath of the Clone Wars. And unlike the majority of the clone army, most of the Bad Batch is able to resist the influence of Order 66, which turned their brethren into brutal and obedient slaves of Emperor Palpatine. In doing so, they became fugitives of the Galactic Empire, while at the same time making a life for themselves outside of war and protecting a female clone named Omega. So I'm gonna speed run through my thoughts on the first season. So basically, I love the world building. I love how we get to see the Empire build itself into the authoritarian government we see in A New Hope. The Republic will be reorganized into the first galactic empire for a safe and secure society. And also, we get to see how the Empire slowly faces out the clones in favor of humans for troopers. Well, we clones are soldiers of a republic that doesn't exist. These recruits come from all over the galaxy and swear loyalty to the Empire. They're not as skilled, but there's an endless supply of them. And the animation here is still fucking great. It's still great how they still use the animation style of the Clone Wars. And I also enjoy the banter between Clone Force 99, especially how Tech and Wrecker talk to each other. Wrecker, easy with my ship. Your ship? This blast primer coating is capable of no this Keep I also enjoy its darker tone. Like, for example, how we see Crosshair doing the Empire's bidding, committing several war crimes in the process. You want to know why they put me in charge? It's because I'm willing to do what needs to be done. Good soldiers follow orders. Now, is there anything I didn't like? Well, I did enjoy that there were some filler episodes that were a chore to get through. And some of them hardly progressed the story. Also, I wish there was more character development with these characters. Because in Season 7, we only got the bare minimum. While in the first episode, we did get to see more of it. But I wish it continued as the series went on. And I also did enjoy how pretty much they shafted Echo. For those who don't know, Echo wasn't a genetically altered clone. But he was a regular clone who was turned into a cyborg. So it's especially frustrating seeing a clone I've been watching since the very first season of The Clone Wars didn't get his time to shine here. We get bits and pieces of it, especially with them bailing out that Separatist leader and them helping out the homie Gregor. But that's about it. And I kind of wish there was more of that. And it was also frustrating that we barely got a few minutes of screen time between him and Rex, especially with the history they have together. So for a first season, it was decent, but not as good as the very first season of The Clone Wars. Honestly, there was much more they can do with this show, but they didn't. So I have to give this show three Clone Trooper helmets out of five. So now with that out of the way, let's move on to season two of The Bad Batch. And holy shit, it was amazing. All of the complaints I had in the very first season were improved in in this one. And that also goes for the pros as well. Again, I did enjoy the world building of the series, as we do see them replacing the clones for regular humans, and how the clones are starting to worry about what are they going to do after they get kicked out. And it was nice to see that there are some people still fighting for the clones, like Senator Chuchi and Bill Organa. And I also enjoyed how we get to see more character development, especially with Tech and Crosshair. I loved how we got to see Tech grow more as a character than just being the brains of the operation. Like the episode where we got to see him with Omega. We're a family, aren't we? Yes, of course we are. Then why don't you act like it? I may process moments and thoughts differently, but it does not mean that I feel any less than you. 
And I also liked how we got to see Crosshair slowly losing his faith in the Empire, whereas they see him as only as a tool rather than a human, along with his brothers as well. And it also motivated him to give a shit about the regular clones, because they're also the only family he has left in the Empire. And it was great to see Echo finally get the spotlight in this series, as he wants to fight for his brothers. And I loved how they doubled down on the darker tone of these episodes, especially the two-parters. In addition, there weren't as much filler episodes, but at least what they were setting up did pay off in the later episodes. And it also solved one question Clone Wars fans have been wondering way back in the day. What happened to the Zillow Beast? And we got that answer. And it was glorious. So yeah, so overall, this series was a huge improvement over Season 1. And I can't wait to see more. So I give this series 5 out of 5 Clone Trooper Helmets out of 5. And that was the video. And you better like and subscribe. Because remember... Good soldiers follow orders. Goodbye.